Hi folks, David Creative Craft House to show you our Brainiac 9 cards. This is a fun magic and math puzzle suggested by Alan Jackson of England. Uh, what we've got here are nine wooden heads with a number uh, up in the brain here. And this wood is uh, eighth inch, it's precision cut here in Florida. Uh, and you will notice that we have uh, three types of wood. We've got a dark wood, which is a, a walnut, a light wood, which is maple, and one in between, which is alder. The digits 1 through 9 appear in these heads. You see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we've got nine heads and nine different numbers, and there's only one number in each head. Now, there's a few things you could do with this and really have some fun. Um, the, here's, here's the primary uh, the puzzle. Ask someone, and it could be uh, two or three people actually, ask someone to select, turn them over first, which makes it all the more mysterious. You can turn them over, you can mix them up any, any way you want or they want. Now ask them to take, uh, uh, make a pile using one of each color, you know, a dark one, use the walnut, alder, and a maple. Then ask them or someone else to uh, make a similar pile. Take one of each color, any one of each color, and stack them like so. And you will be left with three, um, having three different colors. So you've got three piles of wood here, each one having um, three different colors. Now uh, ask them now to mix up any one stack any way that they want. Um, Right now I've got the uh, dark wood on top, then the alder, then the maple. And have, each, have them make each stack consistent in terms of that color. All right. There. So I've got three stacks of what appear to be very random sets of numbers. And in fact, there are over 1,200 combinations that could occur here. Now, uh, while, you have, while you turn away and don't see what's going on, remember you don't know what any of these are, have them turn these over and create um, three sets of three-digit numbers. And here's a number right here, 693. And keeping the same order, here's another number, uh, 214. And again, making sure the order is kept the same. Here is a, another number, 758. And ask them to add those numbers. You'll probably want to give them a calculator. It's not not an easy thing to do. So you get 758 plus 693 plus 214. Now, uh, once they get that number, and you can have these positioned so you can't see them, you are going to now uh, tell them or predict what that number is. And you can draw it out and do it one, one digit at a time or in any way that you think will be fun. And you will get that number right. There's also a, a few magic things you could do with that. For example, you might say to them, uh, now let's see, you probably have a four-digit number, is that correct? And they will say yes. You can say, take the first three digits of that number and turn to the page number in a book that you provide, or maybe a couple, you'll have them choose a book that you uh, provide some options on. For example, if the number was uh, 1,424, Five. Uh, they would the first three digits are 142, so they would turn to page 142. Then say count down and use the last digit and, and read across to that word. So if the last digit was five, they would read across and identify the fifth word and ask them to write that down. Means to well, you have written down a word. When the two pieces of paper are compared, your word will be the same as theirs. Isn't that something? And you'll get it right every time. You know why? Uh, this puzzle uses principles of magic squares. And in fact, uh, no matter how these are arranged, as long as we have one of each color and as long as they're in the, arranged in the same color order, the sum will always equal 1,665. So you already know that number. And you can prepare a book ahead of time, turning to you know, page 166, identify the fifth word, and you'll know it. Uh, you might have a stack of books, and you might have a little piece of paper if it did, helps you identify. So no matter what book they choose, uh, you can identify the word. It is great fun. You can't get away with it too many times with the same person, of course, uh, but boy, it, uh, it is it's quite stunning. Uh, the
first time through. You can make just a, a pure little math puzzle out of this in that uh, you could have someone try to create uh, the magic square of 15 and, uh, and, and that what that means is lay these out in a 3x3 three three grid and try to get every every row, every column, and both diagonals to add up to 15. And that is quite possible and that is really the basis uh, for wh why this puzzle works. And uh, it comes uh, packaged in this nice little organza mesh bag with a little drawstring, so if you want to carry it around, it's easy to keep the pieces together. All right, thanks very much.